In this video, we'll be learning all about the concept of track folding in Cubase. Up until now, we've been learning that each track represents its own layer within our Cubase project. And every track contains a lane within our project editor window that typically contains media associated with that track. But in addition to every track representing a layer, every track also contains its own set of layers, which we can access through the method of track folding. And track folding is just a term that's used to describe the action of hiding and showing the different lanes for a selected track. Tracks can have different types of lanes. There's automation lanes, which control automation data, and we also have media lanes that can hold different recording takes and help us edit our audio. We'll be learning more specifics about that in future videos, but the purpose of this video is mainly intended to show us the concept of track folding. So on our vocal track here, we actually have some automation data that's written that automatically controls the volume of our track. And if you keep an eye on our volume control here, as I scroll through the timeline, you can see that our volume automatically changes at different times in our project. Every one of the controls on our track can be represented as an automation lane. And to view the automation lanes, we actually have to unfold the track. So if we right click on the track, we can choose show automation, and this will automatically unfold the track and show us the different automation lanes that are associated with that track. Down below, you can see the lanes associated with that track represented by an indent in the track list. And to the right of each one of our layers, you can see the data that's associated with that layer. And we can also fold and unfold the automation data for a track by moving our mouse to the lower left corner of a track and clicking on the up or down arrow. We also have the option of selecting the track, then going up to the project menu, going down to track folding, and clicking on toggle selected track. Now for some of our media tracks, such as audio, MIDI, and instrument tracks, we also have another series of lanes that we can view by clicking on the show lanes button on a given track. These lanes we can use when recording and editing and help us keep our project organized. Now if you don't see the show lanes icon, just right click on your track and go to track control settings. And for your audio, MIDI, and instrument tracks, just make sure that lane display type shows up in the visible controls column. And if you need help configuring that, just be sure to check out the track control settings video earlier in the series. So every track virtually has an unlimited number of lanes, which we can view by folding or unfolding the track. Track folding also helps us to organize our project visually on the project editor window. And to help us with that, we actually have a track type called folder tracks. So for instance, if we wanted to group all of our guitars together within the project window, we could do so using a folder track. So we'll click on the add track button, and we'll go down to add track and select folder. So to take advantage of the folder track, we have to move our guitar tracks within the folder track. So we'll just go ahead and hold control or command and select our guitar tracks. And then we can move these tracks into the folder track by dragging until we see the green arrow. When we let go of our mouse button, they'll be placed within the folder track indicated by the indent to the left of the track. We can also give our folder track a name. So in this instance, we'll call it guitars. And we can fold or unfold the folder track by clicking on the folder icon. And when the folder track is collapsed, it'll actually give us an overview of the different media that's contained within that folder track. Now there's another way of creating folder tracks. If we wanted to add all of our drum tracks into a folder track, for instance, we could select all of our drum tracks, then right click and choose move selected tracks to new folder. This will automatically place the tracks within the folder track, and then we could just label the folder track. We'll call it drums. We'll go and collapse this. And now we'll add our vocals to their own folder track. So we'll right click and choose move selected tracks to new folder, and we'll label this vocals. So you can see how folder tracks are very similar to folders on our computer. They help us to organize and make sure everything stays together. Now folder tracks are not represented within our mix console window. If we open up the mix console window, you'll see that every track within our project still shows up as a normal track within our mix console window. We do have access to the folder tracks though from the visibility panel. So if we expand the folder tracks within our visibility panel, we can choose to view or hide groups of tracks that are located within folders by clicking on the button to the left of that folder. And we also have the ability to view and hide individual tracks within that folder by clicking on the individual tracks. We can also simultaneously fold and unfold all of the folder tracks in our project by going to the project menu, going down to track folding and select fold tracks. Alternatively, 
we can come down to track folding and select unfold tracks. Now, say for instance, we were to collapse our vocals folder and our drums folder, but keep our guitar folder open. We can invert the track folding by going up to project, go down to track folding and choose flip fold states. And this will close our guitar folder and it will open up our vocal and drums folder. Now we also have the ability of nesting folder tracks within other folder tracks. So if we wanted to create a folder track just for the audio data within our project, we could add a folder track. We'll label this audio. Then we can select all of the folders and files which contain audio events and then move them into the audio folder. We can also create a folder track just for our MIDI events by selecting the tracks with MIDI events and moving those into their own folder. We'll call this MIDI. Now when we expand the folder tracks, you'll also see the media that's contained within that folder on the folder track itself. Now if we expand our guitars folder, you can see that if we move the event on the folder track itself, it actually moves all of the events associated with the folder track. And we'll see how this becomes more useful when we're editing our project and learn how we can use folder tracks to create groups to keep phase coherent material together. So you can see how folder tracks are very similar to folders on our computer that help us organize and maintain different aspects of our project. In the next video, we'll be learning all about audio tracks. Stay with us and we'll see you then.